Hello all. In the previous part of the video, we have discussed about the introduction to earthquakes and uh, some earthquake which has happened, which took place in the 19th century, na early uh, ending of the 19th century. So about the instruments, seismograph and seismology and Richard skill. In this video, we are going to learn about the causes of earthquakes. So there are main causes of the earthquakes are volcanic eruption, folding and faulting, plate tectonics and anthropologic factors. So anthropologic factors means human factors. Okay. So let me see how the volcanic eruption led to the cause of the earthquakes. Volcanic eruption is one of the main cause of the earthquakes. Volcanic activities, okay, uh, volcanic earthquakes are caused by gas explosion. So in the volcanoes, in volcanic eruption, there will be gas explosion. That's the reason volcanic earthquake, earthquake due to the volcanic eruption takes place. Such earthquakes occur either simultaneously with eruption or more commonly in the period preceding an eruption. So these earthquakes, volcanic earthquakes have happened on either simultaneously with the eruption uh, 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 with the eruption only it can happen or uh, most commonly in the period proceeding an eruption okay so the violent eruption of Karkota volcano between Sumatra and Java Island caused its, uh, such a severe earthquake that its impact was experienced at the Cape On which is 12,800 kilometer away so the earth the violent earthquake happened uh, between the Sumatra and Java Island caused it such a severe earthquake it was uh, it was caused by volcanic eruption so at that time earthquake happened so that was very powerful and that impact impact was experienced at the Cape on also the place which is from uh, which is far away from that highlands okay islands so the Karkota earthquake generated 30 to 40 meters high tsunami sea waves which killed 36,000 people in the coastal areas of Java and Sumatra. So this volcanic eruption led to the earthquakes. This earthquake led to the 30 to 40 meters of tsunami. And that tsunami killed 36 of the peoples in the coastal areas of Java and Sumatra. The, that is where this uh, uh, Karkota, well, uh, Karkota uh, uh, is located, right? So the ash cloud reached into the mesosphere and sound of the blast were heard in the central Australia and Philippines. And even 4,800 4, kilometers away in the Indian Ocean. Oh. Such volcanic eruption always resulted in severe earthquake of hazardous nature. So this, from this uh, data, we came to know that volcanic eruption led to the earthquakes. Okay. So that earthquake we will call as what? Yes, that earthquake we will call as the volcanic earthquakes. Okay, volcanic earthquakes. Now coming to the second factor which lead to the earthquakes. So that is folding and faulting so a fracture in the rock along which there is there has been a observable amount of displacement is known as a fault so the fracture means a uh, what breaking a you know, something we will call as a crack a crack in the rock uh, along which there has been observable amount of displacement movement is known as a fault what is fault the cracking of the rocks along which it has been an observable which we can notice Okay, that amount of displacement is known as a fault. Okay, earthquake occurs when movement of the earth takes place along the lines of a fracture called fault. So, earthquake occurs when the movement of the earth takes place along a line of fracture. Okay, called as fault. So, line of fracture means line of crack. Okay, earthquake occurs along the movement of the earth takes place along the line of the crack is called as the fault okay such earthquakes are called tectonic earthquakes what are tectonic earthquakes earthquake occur when movement of the earth takes place along a line of a fracture called fracture called fault so that earthquakes are known as a tectonic earthquakes a sand 
Hydra's Fault of California is a tropical example which led to the earthquake in 1906. So, the best example is this uh, example which I told which occurred on the 1906. So, the third factor which led to the uh, earthquake is of plate tectonics. So, the crust of the earth is of series of movable plates. So, the crust of the earth is made up of series of movable plates. Okay, surfaces, plates means surfaces. These plates move and slide over each other and edges produce fault along the lines of weakness. The movement of plate cause earthquakes. What cause earthquakes? Movement of plates, movement of surface, of the crust, earth crust. Most earthquakes are caused by tectonic movements. These earthquakes are caused due to the powerful and occur in the high risk regions of Pacific Ring of South Asia that is of Philippines and Indonesia and Northern India along the plate boundaries. In India in 2001 a severe earthquake occurred in Gujarat because of lowering of the Indian plate below the Asiatic plate. Another example is the massive earthquake which stuck in Nepal at 11.556 local time on 25th April 2015 with 7.8 magnitude in the richer scale, 1000 were injured, 2000 people saved their life, lost their life. The earthquake was the result of the collision between two plates, Indian and Eurasian plates. So, this is the plate tectonics. Plate tectonics are caused, are made up of the sea, the crust of the earth is made up of the, these movable plates. So, these plates move and slide over each other. Okay. So, these edges um, produce the fault. Okay. So, the movement of the plate causes these earthquakes. So, in this case, so the plates of uh, surfaces of Indian and Eurasian plates collide. Collide means joint, they uh, join together, they come closer together. As a result, the earthquake happened. Okay. Uh, coming to the anthropologic factors, as I told you, what is anthropologic factors? So, the human factors are known as the anthropologic factors. Human interaction with the nature is also one of the main cause of the occurrence of many earthquakes. The interaction, the extraction, sorry, the extraction of minerals deeply underground mining, uh, blasting of rocks, blasting of rocks, dynamics for construction of roads, nuclear explosion, etc. might lead to the occurrence of the earth, earthquakes of the various intensity and magnitude. So, human factors, human is interacting with the nature in the bad way, in the wrong way, okay. So, he is doing extraction of minerals and uh, is blasting the rocks and the nuclear explosion. This, this causes the earthquake with a great magnitude. Uh, many of the earthquakes of the world in the present century are the result of construction of dams and reserves. So, by construction of dams and reserves, the earthquakes are resulting, are happening. The earthquake of 1931 in the Greece has been uh, uh, attributed to Marathon Dam construction in 1929. So, the Koina earthquakes of 1967 in Satra district of Maharashtra was due to the Koina reserve constructed in six, 1962. So, construction of the dam also caused the earthquake so this is a anthropologic human factor which caused the earthquake we have read about the uh, what folding and faulting plate tectonics volcanic eruption which led to the earthquake but this human factor which is directly related is causing the earthquake but uh, we humans are uh, we know these factors but still we tend to do that okay so i hope this video is helpful for you so please hit the like button and do subscribe my channel for more such videos like this.